Oh, did this deer just get taken out? Nope, nope, he's just sleeping. He's fine. He's back up. Back up and in control. Hello everybody, Gray still plays and we're back with more Taito Ecology. No time for BS, we're here to make a new biome today. Now our rainforest is doing just fine, and we will probably go back to it just to check up on it and make sure that everything is going well in it. I put out a little poll to find out what everyone thought would be the next biome that we should make, and the resounding result was the desert. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing. The last one after this is going to be the grasslands, and I'm hoping to see more biomes coming out soon. Now you can see here from the little stats that it has, 54 degrees Celsius in the desert. Holy cow, that's con that's compared to, I think it was 33 or 34, yes, in the rainforest. A lot less precipitation, but of course there's still plenty of plants and animals that call the desert their home. So let's go ahead and click off of the, yeah, the tutorial. <laughs> there we are because we are not going to need it and we will start right away here hurry those tortoises along Albot welcome to your new biome you should give it a new name we'll call it uh, I don't know we'll call it um, the gray zert yeah that, that should be fine there we are um so let's take a quick take a quick gander around here. Oh, there we are. Here we go. All right. This looks, you know, it feels smaller than our last our last zone, but I think it's just because we opened up that that additional like side. Actually, it may be a little smaller. I don't know. Anyway, we do get to keep all of our coins though. So that is awesome. Let's go ahead and fast forward this along because there's no reason not to. And let's look at what we have to start off with here. Some joint furs. Now, what are these? This looks like your typical little brush plant here. We can click on this and take a look real fast. Many animals eat joint fur. Deer, antelope, and other herbivores will eat the leaves. Okay, humans eat joint fur too. What? Tea and flour can be made from the seeds and it is used in many herbal medicines. Oh, herbal medicines. It, cure, it cures what ails you. Ooh, achievement unlocked in the desert. Joint fur is a bit of an oddball. It has almost no leaves. Instead, it grows hundreds of green stems. One stem grows out of another, which the plant, which gives the plant a jointed look. Okay, so that makes sense. Oh, hey, a couple more energies and a couple more coins. What kind of animals do we start off with? Ah... We start off with armadillos, moss. Okay, we remember those guys from before. Oh, the jackrabbit. There we go. The ant, the cougars still here. The peccary. Ooh, a bobcat. Coral snake. Yes, I've been waiting for some snakes. That's awesome. We also get the kangaroo rat. Oh, the honeybee. The marine blue. The deer mouse. Oh, the king snake. There you go, guys. The badger. The desert tortoise. The pronghorn antelope. A rattlesnake, a coyote, holy cow! Look at all these animals, this is awesome. There's actually a ton of animals here. How about everything that we have in the plants? Oh boy, look at these names. Cre Creos Creos Creosote bush? Creosote? Galetta grass, beaver tail cactus, big stage brush, oh yeah. Ocotillo, barrel cactus, desert spoon, honey mesquite, agave, oh I have that. Growing right on, right around my house. The desert willow, the sweet acacia, maybe sagaro, saguaro, and the Joshua tree. Man, and how about for the decomposers? Do we have a couple of these mushrooms and millipedes? Okay, so that's pretty much it. Man, I'm surprised millipedes can hang out out here. Well, guys, you know what time it is, and that means it is. Well, first, actually, let's use up our energy because that's the first thing we're gonna want to do. So let's get down a couple of uh, armadillos here. Get down a couple of jackrabbits over here. I want to get more of these shrubs for sure because these things look like they should be pretty much everywhere. I mean, if you go to any desert, man, these things are just littering the ground. So let's make sure that we do that. We'll just get a couple of these guys down so everyone can have something to eat. Now. 
I'm curious what these jackrabbits eat. I know a little bit about rabbits because I actually um, have a pet rabbit. Now, she eats, like, seeds and pellets, obviously, that are pre-made, but she eats a lot of vegetables and stuff, too. Jackrabbits are herbivores that eat nearly any type of plant matter, from leaves to roots to bark. These animals eat almost consistently. 15 jackrabbits can eat as much as one large cow in a day. Now, that, people, I will tell you is absolutely true. My rabbit eats all the time, and when she's kind of roaming around in my backyard, she certainly takes all her time to eat all my grass and plants. Because jackrabbits eat so much, it can spell disaster when predators are taken away from their territories. Just a few rabbits can quickly turn into hundreds if their population is not controlled by predator animals, which can spell disaster for ecosystems. Uncontrolled jackrabbit populations have been known to destroy fields and orchards with their grazing habits. Holy cow! Unfortunately for jackrabbits, nearly every carnivore has them on the menu. Now, I noticed that there's no birds in this biome as well. Maybe there's some in the grassland, but if there's no birds in the game, that's something I would really like to see is some birds. Let's go ahead and get down some of these mushrooms straight away. This way, we do have a decomposer on the ground. I want to make sure. Oh, look at this. Is this rabbit dead or is it just sleeping? Oh, it's so cute. Look at it snoozing away. You can see it breathing. That is adorable. Oh, wow. I love it. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go and keep putting down more plants and stuff. Um, because like I said, we want to get, we want to get that good bonus from the, uh, from our achievement that we're going to unlock when we unlock all of the different plants and animals. Let's go ahead and throw down a pollinator over here too. We might as well. Uh, and yeah, yeah, sure. Another armadillo over here. There we are. Now, let us, ooh, actually, you know what? Let's put down a cougar. Yeah, let's put down a cougar. We'll put him way over here because their, their area of motion is so large. Yeah, you can see there's, they'll still be, ooh, is that a new cougar sound? Oh, I think it is. I think it is, guys. <laughs> oh, the bobcat is only one coin to unlock. That's interesting. And let's see here, the kangaroo rat. Yep, we're gonna want him hanging on out. And the honeybee, yep, for sure. I have plenty of honeybees hanging around my house because I have tons of plants around my house. I'm actually a big fan of the outdoors as much as I sit around and play video games for you guys. <laughs> okay, the antelopes there as well. Oh yeah, the rattlesnakes, coyotes, the mule deer. And I think that that's it. Yep, that should be, that should be it. That should, oh, one left, the coral snake. Can't forget you, Mr. Coral Snake. There we go. I think that that is everything unlocked in the animals. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and put down a mule deer. Oh, these things sound really cool. I want to see what this mule deer looks like. There we go. Oh, here we are. Oh, and we just got the achievement right as we utilized our mule deer. So that's good. We're back up to 100. And man, look at these guys. Let's see what it has to say about these mule deer. I'm kind of interested. Mule deer are herbivores that enjoy eating plant leaves, fruits, and some seeds like acorns. Huh. They do not care for dried or dead leaves. Mule deers prefer fresh, fr fleshy fruits and vegetables with lots of digestible content and nutrients. Many carnivores prey on mule deer. Wolves and cougars are primary predators. And even golden eagles have been known to attack them deers are well known for their deer in the headlights look when they freeze in place they seem to stare on they se seem to stare oncoming ooh details at the headlights of cars often with fatal results deer do this for the same reason that humans shield their eyes and feel pain when bright lights are switched on in a dark room the deer's eyes can't adjust to sudden lights so they freeze in place and wait for their eyes to adjust in the daytime deer have trouble seeing things that are still but can easily detect the slightest movement they bound away if they feel threatened from a sudden motion or noise. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get some antelope here as well. There we are. I'll go ahead and put a coyote way over here. Oh, yeah. There you go. There's a nice coyote sound for you. And how about some rattlesnakes? Now, I think that these rattlesnakes... Will probably eat. I don't really know what they would eat. I'm guessing, well, rodents and stuff. So maybe they would take out like the jackrabbits in there, have you? Not actually 100% sure. 
Let's go ahead and start a group of mushrooms has low population already. Oh, wow. They sure do. Holy cow. Everything's eating these mushrooms. Let's go ahead and get down tons of more mushrooms then. Wow. These mushrooms are like just a delicacy here for everything. There we go. We'll get a couple of those down. And you know what? We'll get some millipedes down too. I'm going to put these millipedes like way over here, I think. All right. Let's go and start unlocking all the different plants and stuff because uh, as usual, there is a ton of plants. Now, I'm not seeing a lot of fruit. Here we go. The beaver tail cactus has got some good fruit on it. Look at that. I can't wait to see what that cactus looks like. This barrel cactus has some fruit too. Now, I wonder if the fruit that it has is like traditional fruit that you and I might eat. Or if it means like just like the fruit of the cactus, like the fact that the cactus itself is edible. Oh, dead mule deer. Someone got taken out. Although there are plenty of uh, plenty of carnivores and stuff around that we've we've put and the Joshua tree is last. OK, the first thing I want to put down is this beaver tail cactus. I'm curious what this looks like. Oh, it's surprisingly smaller than I had previously anticipated. It's actually not that big at all. Plenty of plants in the desert. Yes, 50 energy. We're back up to full, almost. Let's take a look at this beaver tail cactus real quick. Beaver tail cacti are sometimes called prickly pear because of the fruits they produce. Many animals will eat this fruit. There aren't too many animals that will eat the tough pads, but some, like the collared peccary, are able to digest them. Beaver tail cactus pads contain a chemical that can be toxic to humans and other animals in large amounts. This is why many animals stay away from them. Huh. How do you like that? How about a barrel cactus? How big is this barrel cactus? It's actually not that large either. But you know, I'll bet, I'll bet I know what's bigger. This big sagebrush. It's got it in the title, guys, right? Oh, yeah, that's a decent size. Let's get one of those down. And then we have an Ocotillo. Let's go ahead. Let's read about this barrel cactus real quick. I'm actually curious what these guys have to say, especially since they have fruit as well. A single barrel cactus produces fruit that is often enjoyed by animals. Though the rest of the cactus is technically edible, its painful spines keep it from being eaten by even the toughest of predators. Oh yeah, the barrel cactus got its name because of its squat round shape. It looks a lot like a barrel. When boiled down, the pulp of the barrel cactus can be used to make sweet candles. Oh, candies, not candles. For this reason, it is some ki sometimes called the candy barrel cactus. Well, I did not know that, that's for sure. A couple more animals I think would be cool. Now, we have these tortoises over here. I'm kind of curious what these guys look like. Where can I put them? Right about here I think will be good. There we go. That's right, tortoises. Hop on along there. Well, I don't I should say I shouldn't say hop. I should say slowly meander. <laughs> Oh, did this deer just get taken out? Nope, nope, he's just sleeping, he's fine, he's back up. Back up and in control. This deer is effectively immortal. He doesn't, he, he's not afraid of anything. He's gonna go right by this coyote too. And probably butt heads with this antelope. Now they are eating this beaver tail cactus. Apparently they love this. And it did say that there is quite a bit of fruit from the cactus. Now I'm curious how our jackrabbit population is doing. Uh, they're down by about half, so there is plenty of stuff to eat these guys. Let's go ahead and put down some honeybees, too. Oh, honeybees, where can I put you down? Right over here, perhaps. There we are. Oh, they get their own tree. Oh, let's watch as they come out of their little hive here. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Let me zoom. Let me zoom way in for this. Oh, there we go. We can control the actual camera by right clicking and then dragging around the screen. There you go. That's neat. All right. So now we've got some honeybees down and let's go ahead and put some of these peccaries down because I think we have plenty of plants and stuff for those guys to eat. There we are. And there's at least one more snake. I know that for sure. I had a comment that said, put down some snakes, the biggest snakes. So I'm going to put them down. There's your snake right there. It's not huge, but uh, they're all right. I mean, it's a king snake. It gets to be, what, maybe five foot long, four foot long at best? I don't know, maybe three foot. I'm getting lower each time I talk about it. <laughs> 
it's like when you talk about the fish that you just caught and it's like way out here and then you're like okay well maybe maybe it was this big well, maybe it was this big king snakes are carnivores who will eat most animals small enough to fit into their mouths which includes rodents reptiles and even eggs king snakes get, get their name for for a reason much of what they eat is other snakes though king snakes are carnivores they will eat most animals small enough to fit in their mouths they also eat poisonous snakes like coral and rattlesnakes with ease wow these snakes are going to be taking out these snakes how about that and their occupancy right now is four four because there's really nothing to feed on them but these new snakes will be whipping them up pretty good let's put some coral snakes over here too we'll put these guys over here this way they're not like right on top of each other and what i want to go ahead and do is we still do have some uh, we, we still have like um, some coins and I want to go ahead. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is where you can spend coins to get additional stuff. I don't want to do that yet. I want to unlock more of the biome. I'm just trying to remember exactly how we went about that and did that. Let me see here real quick. I know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right here. I think it was. Yes. Excellent. That's how we unlock. Ooh, if we unlock this zone. Oh, you can't get there yet. There's a little bit of water by that zone. All right, let's go ahead and unlock this zone. And we'll kind of unlock these zones slowly. I want to get to the water. That should be really cool. And I would love to see, like, if there's uh, a little bit of interaction with the water from the different animals. Let's go ahead and put down a couple more plants, though, for sure. I do want to get at least a few more of these down let's put down this honey mesquite man look at the amount of leaves and fruit this thing has oh it's a big size tree look at that let's click on this real quick i'm curious what kind of fruit this thing has is the honey mesquite's bean pods are consumed by many herbivores some eat the mesquite's leaves as well there are many types of mesquite trees the wood the word mesquite comes from the spanish word mezquite or mezquite i don't know this word is based off of a word in the oh boy oh no now what the oh no i'm gonna butcher that so bad which is language spoken by the aztec people of central america other english words that come from uh avocado chili coyote tomato and chocolate hmm well i like all of those other things so let's put down this desert willow as well and let's go ahead and put down now this looks like a classic a classic desert tree oh yeah we're gonna want at least a couple more of those oh yeah there we go that's what i'm talking about that makes the desert look so much better and this joshua tree i assume this is like the king of all the desert plants this thing has got to be just massive because it costs 55 energy let's put down one of these guys oh oh yeah oh wow look at that and it has fruit like a good amount of fruit too now i'm not sure what it has to say about this let's see if we can click on this real quick check out the biodex the joshua trees flowers require the yucca moth to pollinate them the yucca moth in turn lays eggs in the flowers and their larvae survive off of the seeds in the tree while still leaving enough for the tree to reproduce in your biodome joshua trees can be pollinated by any pollinator species okay well, I think we definitely have moths, if I remember correctly. I don't know if it's the yucca moth particularly, but I know we have moths. Let's take a look here. Uh, oh, we definitely have moths. So let's put down some moths. Now, I know it said it could be pollinated by anything, but there's no reason not to put at least these guys down. And we'll put some of these marine blues down over here just because they look pretty cool. Oh, yeah. That's neat. Those look kind of like our blue morphos that we had before. Let's make sure that we put down some of these rats because I think that pretty much everything will be able to dine on these rats, all of our different predators and stuff. And wow, these guys are real tiny. Look at these little guys right here. Oh yeah. Now, if you noticed when I clicked on the mushroom, it says herbivores eat these. I wonder if it was always like that or not. Oh, our peccaries already have a reduced population. Oh, a group of kangaroo rats has a low, oh, is, that, is that really what's happening? They have a low population? I just made them. They should be fine. Oh, I think it's because they're, like, reproducing. Occupancy 11 of 40. Or maybe it's because it's right by the snakes. Let's put down a couple more, then. We've got plenty of space for these guys, right? Let's put some more over here. Right about... 
right about here. There we go. We're getting all kinds of notices over here about these guys. All right, we'll put down a, cunt, a ton of kangaroo rats. How about that? Overpopulate this place with kangaroo rats. Kangaroo rats everywhere. Oh, yeah. And we'll put down some extra jackrabbits as well. Because I know it said that these guys are on basically everything's menu. And I would at least like to keep a couple of these guys alive. What else do we have? We haven't put down any bobcats. So let's put down those guys. They have a huge wandering area. We'll put them down kind of like way over here. And we are doing pretty good. So this is our desert so far, guys. Hope you are enjoying the desert biome. This is uh, what you guys wanted to see, and I wanted to give it to you guys. And quite honestly, I was pretty interested in checking out the desert biome too. Anyway, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.